very often my students um, will ask me, what are you teaching next semester? And I'll tell them, well, I'm teaching a coastal policy class uh, or identity theft or, or electronic democracy, but I'm teaching it on the, on the web. The class is all on the internet. And I've heard this a lot. The students will say, I've taken a web-based class before and I really don't want to take any more because it was boring and I didn't enjoy it very much. Let me try and tell you how I teach my web-based classes and um, show you some of the, the things that we do in our class and maybe you'll be encouraged to uh, take one of them because I think um, we have tried very hard to make them interesting and to put in variety so that uh, hopefully they're not boring. So let me uh, switch around here and, and show you what I'm doing in one of my classes. Well, this is a class that's called um, Coastal Policy and Politics. And as you can see, I operate inside of a WebCT environment. So I'm inside a, up here you can see WebCT. Uh, we do that at, at various institutions. Most, most colleges use that. And you have to log in with a password. So you're pretty safe inside there. And we can have all kinds of uh, material that uh, we are allowed to use inside of a, a, a site like this, whereas we wouldn't be allowed to just stick it uh, you know, on a public internet site. First of all, um, I've got a little instruction at the top that kind of tells you what the course is all about. So that's up here. Uh, there are course tools over there that include announcements that will pop up, uh, assignments, assessments, there's a calendar, there are discussions, uh, mail, and some other things. Uh, those are for you to use, and we don't use all of those, but uh, they're, they're pretty user-friendly and interesting. Um, let me just show you what I've got up here on this, on this page so that uh, we can you know, kind of discuss these a little bit. I've got a little video here called uh, Only Rain Down the Drain, and it's just a short video that shows you the, um, um, basically how coastal policy is affected even by things that occur way far uh, up the river. The, the second thing we have is a syllabus, and the syllabus actually is a um, pretty uh, complete listing of all the things that are in this class. So here is a, basically what the syllabus looks like, and you can see that it, um, uh, it kind of has basic information about assignments and the books that we have to read and so on. And uh, let me zoom out a little bit here. Um, then as you go down, you'll see that there is a kind of a, a table form. And it has up here the activities. Um, then it has um, chapter and title of material that's assigned. Uh, over here are uh, some ideas about the content and then assessments and other things. And basically, you can see that over here we've got some, some media, for example, some some digital video um, that I use in the class. And that's also uh, shown inside of the, the web CT. So here's what a video would look like. Let me take a couple of minutes and talk about what I've got behind me here on the board, which is essentially the question of the the sort of scope um, of the coastal policy issues that we will all right so you get some idea there of uh, you know a few videos like that and then we've got other assignments and things on the syllabus so the syllabus is there you can print it out you can check off uh, what things you've done and haven't done and so that's kind of convenient um, the other thing I have this year is I have um, a uh, YouTube video right here that I recorded and it's very very short but it really tells you what I expect in this class in other words it's a video that says what's a, a coastal policy class on the internet what is it what does it look like why am I interested in having you uh, pay a close attention and do a good job with this and then I have a special section here for graduate students only and if you're a grad student, you'll do a little research project in here. But after that, basically, we go week one and week two, week three, week four, week five, and week six. And so for each week, 
um, I've kind of placed material on a page. Uh, this is how the page looks this year with a nice little background. And then over here, you can click on this, and there are some uh, assignments listed. Most of the page, most of the weeks look exactly like this. Uh, there's an assignment, and it gives you the date. There is a material to be read from one of the books assigned. There are some short video clips. There is a discussion in which you will be discussing with other students um, in the class the material that I've asked you to uh, take a look at. And then each week there's a short uh, online uh, test, uh, mostly multiple choice, that you will be uh, also then taking a look at. If we go back here, you'll see that there are a couple of videos listed here on, on, on this uh, first week. And each week uh, then covers the material for for that particular week. Okay, I'm back again, and um, that of course is just a really fast little overview of the course. But you can see that we have some things that are diverse, and it's it's not uh, you know just one one type of exercise. It's not just readings there is audio. We hope to have some audio back and forth. In fact, I'm hoping to have uh, audio office hours where you can click on there and um, just visit with me um, with a little microphone. You have to buy one, I guess. Um, so we're working on that as well. Um, hope that gives you a little bit more of an idea of what we've been doing. We've been working on this for, well, 10 years. Uh, and I think we've improved over over some of the, you know, really primitive, crude kind of uh, web-based classes, so hope to see you in class.